So today we're gonna be out at the shop with Austin. Hopefully we're gonna get this uh, trailer box mounted so I can take it home and then uh, do some more work on it there. Show up, see what Austin's up to. He's probably working on some boat. He's a working machine. trailer outside thought you're talking about this thing yeah i seen that headache yeah so stripping off um siding no the the top corner ripping all the old rubber off and lifting up the roof and then using panel bond to put it all back together don't leak anymore mm. so gotta give a shout out to the larry specter got me another ovp pivots I run this on my ski, it does great. I haven't had any trouble out of it. Only trouble I ever I have is, you know, once a summer I gotta tighten these bolts up because for some reason they like to come undone, but this is a really good steering system. I got my box squared up on here. I think this is where I'm gonna run it. Um, I don't lose too much of my turning radius, but yet I think I can still put my front rack here and run a jet ski on the front. Um, my next thing, once I sell my spark, I'm gonna set this up for three. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna change out my wood for those plastic boards. That'll be another thing probably this winter I'll do. And then probably go with some new tires. Because these ones here are about I mean you can't see the one anymore, but uh, I don't use them that much. This is what she used to look like. These warners gone. So now that I got it all squared I mean I measured you know from the tip to here I think I'm at like six and a half and then from this angle iron to the edge I'm at seven and what I'm gonna do is take this uh, colored marker and uh, just go around and make some so I ain't got to remeasure measure measure so I can get it close like that probably gonna go with a few of these big boys got one that's for my wet storage this one here's for my dry storage which isn't really dry because it's raining on me I mean I got some underhang but I'm gonna have to figure something else out I got this one here mounted there but she is too long. Run out of threads before she'll ever hook up. Unless I put some kind of spacer plate. Which I gotta put a plate anyways, but a big one. Maybe. We'll see what Austin has to say. Got her spacer metal. Approved by the Austin. Thick, needy. Almost getting cold enough to fire up the forge. I don't know what Corey's thinking in life, but uh, yeah, we need to buy those. Um, we need to spend like a couple hundred dollars for those stainless steel gas lines that milked in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Was you thinking like this and then clamp here? Huh? Clamp here? Or could we set it on this? We don't, we don't need a clamp. Set it on this side? You don't need a clamp? You don't need it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a jet drill pressure clamp with clamps. Jet drill pressure clamps needed. Mm -hmm. I turn on a fancy laser. Meow. 
I would just say half inch rich. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love. You could use a clamp. <laughs> I should have just held pressure on Yeah, it. that'd give a damn, but it still kind of scared me. Uh, It comes to lock washers. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Those are golden. Okay. okay, and then this one go on the gray. Let's see, there's rust and there's a gray spot. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Whisker biscuit. I'll go grab another one. Um. Have you serious talk? Do you get a flu shot every year? Hell no. I'm against it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> It was like the other day. When do you? No, I've never. Okay, yeah. I've never got a flu I think shot. It's bullshit. I've never got a flu shot, and like my mother in law was like, oh my gosh, you've never got a flu shot? How are you alive? And I was like, no, I've never. No, Kenzie has always got one every year. Good. And she's like, you should get one. Nope. You, you, uh, you're you around all these people all the time. And I'm like, well, nope. I've been around them this. And you're just fine. Haven't got one yet. She's like, but if you do get it. It can kill you. Having the flu shot will lessen the symptoms, and I'm like, yeah. Did you know there's a chance that you could also it, the flu shot itself actually kills people? Like just because you have a bad reaction yeah. after it. I mean, that's that's unlikely. It's only like one in every two million, but that's actually quite a few people. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. Anyone that I know that have gotten in my family that that winter. Like my mom got it for the first time like two years ago. She's like never been so sick in all her life. She got so sick. And sometimes that happens. I guess it's a side effect that 
the the strand of skin and um she's golden yeah i'd probably just for shingles i would use washers well how big is this nah that'll be fine on top of that and um loctite loctite too for giggles yeah Okay. I mean, this should do it, but yeah. this didn't be sure. And then when you get all down, I'd squirt those those bolt nuts don't look like they're galvanized. Those washers are. No, they are galvanized. You can still squirt some paint on it because these these ends are cut. Oh, okay, yeah. Keep it from rusting. Yeah. Okay. So, got the U bolts in, and I'll probably take in whenever I put turf in here, silicone around that. Yeah, I'll silicone around it before I lay it down. I'm probably just gonna lay the bottom side down, not glue the side yeah. down. So I can pull it out just in case. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, if you need to pull it out or whatever the case may be. There you go. That's why I was saying I shown it this far forward so at least we can still throw it. Yeah, I'm pretty there. sure we could have skied there. Yeah, I'm almost positive. Yeah, just in case. And now I got some storage, and then if I want to, we can make a rack for a couple gas cans, I'm thinking. Yeah, eventually. Strap. yeah. Well, it could be a band that just comes out here. Yeah, just, choo -choo, just mm -hmm. to. And you could even do something. Or there. we could even just, I could just put one, bolt it here. Yeah, you could. Just, you know, make a, I could make a rack to where I can unbolt it too. Mm -hmm. But, you know, maybe four gas cans. Mm -hmm. Does she have more than uh, 50 pounds of tongue weight now? Wow. There it went. There's some weight on that now. <laughs> Why don't we fix the tongue Well, and now thing? another thing. So it has more tongue weight with no jet ski on it. Oh, okay. So when I, when I put a jet ski on it, you know, the motor is, well, the tongue, yeah, all, all the motor yeah, is right here on the line. Yeah. And that is when it weighs, you know, like a pound and I can move it with my finger. Cause it, it tows great with no jet ski on it, mm -hmm. but you put a jet ski on it and it, it kind of, it, it, yeah, yeah, it wants to tight, move around. But I think this should make it just, just right. There you go. Yeah. And trailer is still pretty balanced. A lot of the weight, is on the axle itself instead of truck because so, that axle is overkill you know it's 3500 so versus what was that before that 15 12 i, I had a 2000 oh 2000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. just saying because it's never going to have that much weight on there anyway so might as well just let the axle do the work instead of your hitch yeah yeah in which i i need to i never use my lower one this lower ball i never use it but i need to put some grease on it or something because the other day whenever we was at our our rent the house we rented the b and b house oh, yeah, was at. Yeah. so you know those houses like it blew me away how these houses some of these houses are built on stuff like this well our driveway our driveway like it was like you come off the road and it was like boop, 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 on the flat spot and like driving up the driveway i'm, I'm starting to go up the driveway and it was like Is that ball drag? Fuck yeah, it drug. that's a long ways from the ground <laughs> it drug so hard like you i mean you can feel the cuts where it just got gouged up and i was like oh no so i had to back up and flip the ball i just flipped the whole hitch upside down yeah and this this can still close but yeah it, yeah it was a steep mother and booger and like what's crazy is like well, my you just unpin it and take the whole thing off just by that one pin well i was afraid because this the bottom of this is right here so oh. it had a drug so i just flipped it all upside down oh i see so i had to you know i keep my little wrench like yeah, yeah, yeah. take this off because this is a lifesaver yeah, Otherwise, move. this would be like, clack, 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 clack. Yeah. Now you just got the play in this part. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Sweetness. Yeah, I'll give you some time and you'll need a. <laughs>
cinched in. Oh yeah, like a rock. So we're on the other side now. Got our U-bolt here. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, put this specially made galvanized spacer plate because uh, we ran out of threads on the upper side. So put this bad boy on. Boom, spacer plate engaged. Now we're gonna take this handy dandy Solid Loctite stick. We're gonna put a little Loctite on the bottom side of this the edge of these threads Come back All right done with the Loctite Now we're gonna take our ah lock washer slider on there uh, get our nuts started our other lock washer put her on there and get her started Yeah! Almost done with it. And then we gotta order some uh, turf. We're gonna turf it on the inside of the walls and the bottom of the dry side. We're gonna put some turf. And then I might rig up some lights eventually in there for that'll tie into the trailer lights. But yeah. You know, it just took three months. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love.